So very often what happens is we find a nice table we like in a different book that's already been made, but there's no table styles applied because it was locally created. The same way that you can locally style your fonts and then make paragraph and character styles out of them. So let's see how that happens. We pick it up here. The first thing we want to do is make sure our view is on normal and not preview. So you can see all your invisibles and where everything's sitting. Then we want to make sure that paragraph styles are applied to all the text that we're going to be using. So just highlight it with your text tool, check over in your paragraph style palette, make sure that there's something applied to it. If there's something that looks like a mistake, like this here is basic, and this is this style here. I will apply that same style so it all matches. And this also here is a mistake because a different color happened in. And there's a plus next to the paragraph style, so just click on the clear overrides. And then you just check everything else. Make sure there's a paragraph style applied to the text. Now someplace else that paragraph styles are used for tables is where the table sits itself in your text tray. So if you click here, and you see the cursor is flashing all along the left side of the table, we'll find the paragraph style is applied to it with an indent. And for example, if we don't want that, we can either create a new style or apply a style that's already there that has it flush left, just like that.